our river, nuestro Rio Grande, is enriched with your history, my history, our history. That sound, that is the dear sound of its river flow, the people's voices, our voices, the sound of its beloved cities, all the way from the bridge and beyond, serves as its voice. El Rio is what builds us. What makes us who we are, at the end, where our roots come from. Of course, we are what forms El Rio too, for without us, it would have no heart. But it feels as if lately, our roots have been tweaked away. Nos sentimos sin raíz. Texas, but I was raised in Mexico uh, until I was about 13 years old. And what was the reason for your move? Um, my family, we wanted to learn English, but also the situation in Mexico, it was really dangerous at the moment, so we decided to move here because of the insecurity. And how are you with that decision? Uh, it was hard hard at first, but now I've been trying to accommodate to this new what language do they speak at home? Spanish. Why is that? Because my parents are Mexican and we were raised speaking Spanish in my house. Would you change that if you could? No. Do you think it gives you benefits or the other way around? Benefits, well, in jobs, yes, in community, in, yes, being bilingual is always ben more beneficial than just speaking one language. So what do you think is one of the main difficulties of being a Mexican-American in the border? Uh, I would say that when I come here uh, to the United States, I feel like I'm, or they call me, or I feel sometimes that I'm very Mexican. And when I go to Mexico, I feel too American because of my different traditions. Well, I used to live in, in Mexico and uh, it wasn't for insecurity or anything, but I, I moved to Laredo, Texas when I was 13. Uh, it's been more secure than the Nuevo Laredo. Uh, well, actually, my, my dad has been having a lot, uh, not, a lot, not a lot, but a little trouble with uh, some uh, job applications and everything. And because they're in English and he doesn't speak English at all. My mom does a little bit. Uh, myself, I identify myself as... Uh, I was born here in, in the United States, but... but uh, I identify myself as more Mexican than, than American. I have both nationalities and I'm staying here in the United States, but I still feel more Mexican. And at home, what language do you speak? Spanish. Do you think that benefits you or hinders you? Um, I think it benefits me because uh, that way I cannot uh, forget my uh, native language, but at home I speak Spanish, usually uh, at my parents. Spanish. Spanish. Why? Because my 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 parents don't, don't know English and they're Mexican. Cuando 
Antes que a tu nombre la arena blanca con fondo azul Cuando mire cielo en la forma cruel de una nube gris aparezcas tú Una tarde subo a una alta loma, mire el pasado, sabrás que no te he olvidado Yo te llevo dentro hasta la raíz Y por más que crezca vas a estar aquí Aunque yo me oculte tras la montaña Y encuentro un campo lleno de caña No habrá manera mi rayo de luna que tú te vayas En Laredo, Texas, you and I have a voice that we are unable to speak elsewhere a voice that can say, I want to celebrate George Washington's birthday today. Because why not? I am an American, and I have the right to celebrate my first president's birthday. And you have another voice that says, Today, we're making Jamaicas Encarnesadas para celebrar el grito, el 16 de septiembre. In the midst of such traditions and celebrations, we are unable to claim a nationality. Do you realize that Laredo is a city within another city? It is not only a place, it is a world. A world where you can cherish both of your cultures, whether it is American or Mexican, regardless, you are both, right? It is a city that allows us to identify as whoever we want, whenever we want. It is not a curse to be a Mexican-American, but actually quite beautiful. Beautiful because we are privileged enough to be a part of two beautiful cultures, not a race. We are fortunate enough to share our heart with an equality amount of love. One part of it belongs in the United States, and the other in Mexico. The water from the Rio Grande is not just water, it is our body that is flowing in between both of our countries. It is the life that is us, the stream of our words and cultures, which continue to flow down the middle like lost pebbles in the shore, getting trampled between seaweed and botes de cerveza. El Rio Grande is, or rather we are, the hyphen that is in between the word Mexican and American. Like Ito Romo's title of his book, the border may be burning, but our roots are not. 